In this video, you're going to learn how to find a point along a directed line segment. And we're going to go through two examples together. So let's dive into this first example and understand how this works. So we've got find point F along a directed line segment EG such that EF to FG is in a ratio of 3 to 2. And it gives us the two coordinates of points E and G. So what does this mean exactly? Well, let's just kind of visualize you have this line segment like so. Say here's E, say here's G. We're trying to find that point F somewhere along this line segment from E towards G such that it divides it up in the ratio of 3 to 2. So you can see that it would be a little bit closer to G than it is to E. It would probably be somewhere right about here. So that this part is like 3 pieces and this part here is like two pieces. So if we think about it like this, this is like three-fifths of that whole length, right? See if this is your point F, it's like three-fifths. Now what we're going to do is we're going to divide this up into like a horizontal component and a vertical component. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to basically just kind of sketch this out here as a right triangle. And when we look at this horizontal distance here, how far is it? Well, we're going from negative 1 to 6. So this distance here is 7 units long. And then we're going from negative 4 up to positive 4. So this vertical distance here is 8 units long. But we're starting at this point negative 1, negative 4. So the way I like to set this up is I like to think of my, my x coordinate and my y coordinate. So for x, I'm starting at negative 1. For y, I'm starting at negative 4. But when I'm going in this horizontal direction. I'm not going seven units. I'm actually going just three-fifths of this horizontal distance. So I'm saying let's add three-fifths of seven to negative one to this x-coordinate. Then in the y direction, we're not going this whole vertical distance of eight. We're just going up three-fifths of this distance, right? So it's going to be plus three-fifths of eight. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So 7 is like 7 over 1, 8 is like 8 over 1. So this comes out to 21 over 5, and negative 1 is like negative 5 over 5. So 21 plus negative 5 is 16 over 5, which is 3 and 1 fifth. Over here now, we've got 24 over 5. This is like negative 20 over 5, so that comes out to... Uh, 4 over 5. So that means that the location of point F here is going to be at 3 and 1 fifths comma 4 fifths. Let's see if that makes sense in the uh, context of this diagram here. So 3 and 1 fifth would be like right about here. Up 4 fifths would be right about here. So that's point F. So that basically divides this directed line segment from E to G in a 3 to 2 ratio, meaning we went 3 fifths of this horizontal distance then we went three-fifths of this vertical distance, and that's how we're finding that point right on the line. So there's a few moving parts here. Let's take a look at another example, and let's see if you can practice this one. We'll go through it together. Let's look at number two. Okay, see if you can do example number two on your own. Let's go through it here. It says find point Z along a directed line segment from R, negative 2, 6, to point S, 3, negative 4 such that the ratio of RZ to ZS is 1 to 3. So basically what we're doing is we're going from R towards S so that the ratio of R to a point Z is in the ratio of 1 to 3. So R to Z and Z to S is 1 to 3. See if you can do that problem. While you're doing this problem, I just wanted to let you know about my two courses that I have for sale, my Algebra 1 video course and my Algebra 2 slash College Algebra video course for sale. If those are topics that you're studying and you're interested and want to learn more with me in those courses, uh, check out the links below in the description. And uh, let's go over this last um, problem here together. So basically what I like to do is I like to make this into a triangle, right? So I like to kind of go like this and like this. So you can see that right angle there. Now this horizontal distance, you can either count or you can say 3 minus negative 2 is 5. So this is 5 units. And then same thing here, uh, 6 minus negative 4 is 10 units, or you can count. So that's this vertical distance. But the thing is, if we look at a segment, let's just say this is our line segment, and we want it to be in a ratio of 1 to 3, that's actually like 4 parts, right? 1 plus 3 is 4. So what that means is that we're actually going 1 fourth of the way from R 
2s, right? One fourth. So let's start at point R, which is a negative two and six, but we're going one fourth of this horizontal distance. So we're gonna say plus one fourth times five. And then we're gonna go down one fourth of this 10 units here. So we're gonna say minus, since we're going down, okay, one fourth of 10, okay? Or you could do plus one fourth of negative 10 if you wanna think negative 10 like going down. Now, any whole number can be written as a fraction by putting it over one, okay? So you can use that to help you. This is five over four. Negative two can be written as a fraction over one. If we multiply the top and bottom by four, that becomes negative eight over four, plus five over four is negative three over four. Same thing over here. This is gonna give us negative 10 over four plus 24 over four. If we multiply the top and bottom here by four, that's gonna give us 14 over four, which is equal to three and two fourths, which is three and one half if we reduce. So it looks like our point's gonna be here at negative three fourths, comma, three and one half. Let's see if that makes sense in the context of this problem. So negative three fourths means we're going left three fourths, up one, two, three and a half. Okay, so you can see my diagram, not perfect here, it's just kind of on a whiteboard. I don't have graph paper here, but pretty close. And you can see that this ratio here is like one part. This here is like three parts. So this is like you're going one fourth of that distance and you get that ratio of one to three. So great job if you're able to get this problem. If you want to see another example that I did, another video, and you want to maybe test yourself and go through it, Follow me over to that video I did previously right there. We'll get some more practice. I'll see you over in that video. I'll talk to you soon.